Hey everybody, this is Junaid Khan on Futurism channel and uh, thanks for joining me today for the transfer show. It is the um, deadline and this will take us about what's going to happen for each club. So it's obviously transfer deadline day, FYA special. The reason why it's called that because it's because of a takeover, yeah? And there's a deadline day with Fabio Romano as well. So let's get into the video. Every day on the transfer show, we go around all 20 Premier League clubs. Carvey's usually standing so, there. Would you like I'd love to give it a go. Well, Braden, let's go around the clubs. Let's do it. That's what I'm saying. Arsenal in sorts with Shakhtar Donetsk to sign Mikhailo Mudrik. Aston Villa are said to have made an ambitious move to sign Athletic Bilbao striker Nico Williams for £45 million. Bournemouth have agreed a deal to sign Villarreal forward Nicholas Jackson. He's due on the south coast for a medical. How did I do? You got the job. Carve out. Get him out. In. So, I've got quite an exciting game to do just before we go on air, and that's quick fire. So, basically, I'm going to ask you a question, and all you have to do is point at the person who does the most or does whatever I say. Are you ready? Yeah. So, who has the best contact? Oh, that's boring. Go, go, you've got to pick one. Who gets the most stories? <laughs> Talks the most. Definitely. Oh, my Lord. Who is the better footballer? Oh, you got the techers. Is that right? Who's Always. grumpier? Who's grumpier? Yeah, grumpier. Grumpy. So this is obviously grumpier. talking about the transfer show Boy, itself. It's the most important one of the lot, the pinnacle question, who's got the better hair? <laughs> I'm being serious. Oh, wasn't this person, huh? Uh, well, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, and yeah, we're just about to go on now. Set up page, transfer show, FYI. All this will be on camera four, so we can just come a bit wider, please, on four. And we do a nice big pushing round the desk to a centralised shot. So can I just see that, please? Ten seconds. Just checking you can all hear me OK. Mike, keep an eye out. Braden's expecting... So obviously they're checking news. the cameras and making sure everything is OK. Because that's what they do for the news dice box. Good afternoon, welcome to a transfer show with a different so deadline this. day. FYI takeover. Carve, Darmish and Braden here to bring us the very latest transfer news. Lots to get through. Let's start with Chelsea. What's going on? Well, look, Chelsea have spent a lot of money. They still want to sign a midfielder and a right back. A cover for Reese James. Midfielder, everybody knows their number one target has been Enzo hold Fernandez. On, hold, on, hold it there. Braden has breaking news. Braden, what have you got? So, some breaking news, and I've been working on this story all day. I mean, it's a really interesting one. And if you were looking in the press, you would think that Mikhailo Mudrik was going to Arsenal. However, for £88.5 million and on an eight and a half year deal, Mikhailo Mudrik is a Chelsea yeah. player. Fantastic. He went to Chelsea. Well done, Mudrik gone to Chelsea. Fabulous. On that note, we're going to take a break. Yeah, so that's the end of the takeover. Thanks for watching. But the boys will be back after the break. So, yeah. So that's obviously what they're talking about, really, with the transfers itself. Now, Manchester United have confirmed a signing from Bayern Munich. Now, this is a sign signing called Sabitzer, and he is a signing until when? Well, obviously. What if we could see cyber threats Advert. in real life? Yesterday's technology can no longer stop them. It looks like we needed players to come in and straight away make a difference. He did. One of the things so, that looks like the really Amrabat deal to Barcelona is, is now off. We seem really imbalanced on both wings. Ryan Christie's a great player. He grafts, he works really hard, but he's not a player to take a man on. Whereas on the other side, you've got someone like Jaden Anthony or sometimes Suri Dembele's been blooded and they are natural taker honours. Ryan Christie's not. So what you had at the weekend, actually, the last time I saw Bournemouth play at home, was Dango Otara on that right flank actually taking players on. And that was, that was really nice, like... So I'm just going to go back a bit. Because the ends of Fernandez talks, they're still ongoing. Okay, so John Joe Shelvin move complete. Inquiries for Mikel Antonio May talks ongoing for Kelly and Nevers. So this is for Nine Forest. Cameroon, Solima deal close. Musa Dembele, 3 million agrees. This is for Southampton. Tottenham sign. So, sup, Bell, Pedro Poro medical underway. Now, that deal collapsed 
the Pedro Polo deal, but it's not collapsed now. Dorothy set for Atletico Madrid. West Ham are saying interest in Hakim Zayat's loan in completion for Gallagher. Michael Keane move off. Loan outgoings possible for youth. No current in Cummins. So Wolves is. Uh, are now going to be taking on a. So 20 million agreed for Leah Zambail. Interest in Hugo. Lawson, Hamad, Tyra deal agreed. Active Bournemouth. Jorginho deal agreed. Palace interest in Lacondo loan. No third bid for Casido. Active Arsenal. Matteo, Grundisi, talks off. Blagger asked for 26 million from Mitinha. Bertson, Tayori, loan recalled. And this is Aston Villa. Now, Canas heading to Olympias. Romero, Beckham returns to Miami. That's Brentford. Casida deal off. No third bid. Yasin Ryan, Yasin Ayanaman signed for £5 million. So that is roughly what's going on about Enzo Fernandez. They're saying that they're going to do it in Portugal, yeah? Now, Sabres a deal agreed with Manchester United, yeah? So the Amrabat deal to Barcelona, that's obviously off. Liverpool, however, have gone quiet in this transfer window. They only made one transfer window um, target, and that was Cody Gakpo. Liverpool have not made any other transfers. If Liverpool does make something, they'll have to hold it because at 11 p.m. is not far. So, well, guys, this is uh, Junaid on Futurism channel, and thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and um, I will be back probably... Some point tomorrow for his post transfer video. So, see you guys very soon.